Hello everyone and welcome back to This Is Real Life. I'm your host Sherry and on today's DIY Wednesday video, we are going to make the most amazing, the most super last minute holiday gift for those unexpected people that brought you a gift and you had no intentions of giving them a gift at all. And we're gonna do it for under $30. What are we gonna make? Well, I'll tell you. So I know it's happened to you because it's happened to me um, quite a bit. Not that quite a bit, but enough for me to know that I need a backup plan and I need a super last minute gift for those people. You know, like your neighbor. Oh, hi, I wasn't expecting you. Oh, wow, this is so, Oh my gosh, you're so ahead of everything. I am so behind. I haven't even wrapped your gift yet, but I'm getting it together right now. So as soon as I have it ready, I will bring it right over. Thank you so much and I'll see you real soon. Or your coworker. Oh, hello Mariana. Oh. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I am such a bonehead. I totally left it. I, I was leaving for work, I set it by my purse and I was in a rush and I just walked right out without it. But tomorrow I got you, don't you worry. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see what's inside. Or that cousin that unexpectedly brings his girlfriend to Christmas at your mother-in-law's house. I think your mom just texted me. Oh. What? Cousin Craig is bringing his girlfriend? I didn't buy anything for her. Oh, shit. Okay, I, I guess I better run to the store. So, for all of those cases and all of those people, we are going to put together a charcuterie board. I know, right? Charcuterie. Say it with me because it is all the rage right now. Charcuterie. And who wouldn't want a beautiful charcuterie board? I'm telling you what, when I started putting these charcuterie board gifts together, I went out and got more supplies so I could make myself one. That's how awesome this gift is. And it's less than $30. I mean, it doesn't really get any better than that for a last minute holiday gift that is going to be the most coveted gift of all the gifts in all the land. So how can we do this super quick and how can we do it super cheap? Well, I'll tell you, so let's get into it. I have really been wanting to make my own cutting board slash charcuterie board. And by make my own, I mean going to the wood store and purchasing all different kinds of hardwood, walnut, teak, and picking out the most beautiful pieces, coming home, planing them all, getting them all super straight, gluing them all together in a wonderful pattern, and cutting them into an amazing shape. But number one, when I went to the wood store to purchase all those woods, I discovered that all of those hardwoods are really, really expensive. After spending hours on the floor at the wood store, mapping out all my pieces and how I wanted it to look, when I stood up to give myself a total, it was like well over a hundred. We'll say into the 200s for the amount of charcuterie boards slash cutting boards I wanted to make. So I scrapped that idea and said, well, maybe this isn't the year for me to make my own custom charcuterie boards. And I was a little bit sad about it, I'm not gonna lie, until I walked down, I think it was the shelving aisle, you know, the boards are already cut to like shelf size. They've got like the malamine, shelving, what have you. And then I saw this. Oh, this Millwork Unlimited Teak Project Panel. It is one inch by 16 inch by three feet long. And it is beautiful. It is exactly what I wanted my custom cutting board slash charcuterie boards to be, where you can see there's like a glue up and we've got the different wood grains and the different coloring. I mean, look at this side. Look at how beautiful that is. 
And I said, well, shit, half my work's done for me. I'm just gonna grab these and I'm gonna go to town. And so from this three foot long teak, which teak is a hardwood, so it's perfectly fine to use for a cutting board or a charcuterie board. From this three foot long board, I made these. I know, I know, I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. These are beautiful. So I was able to get two charcuterie boards from one piece of this teak three foot board. Now this teak board was like $41, $47, something like that. And I said, oh, okay, well I can get two out. So that makes each of these cutting boards like 20, 25 bucks, which was perfectly fine by me. So what I did is I picked out a shape to use the most wood. I didn't want to waste any, any of this wood. So I came up with a design where I cut a handle out of the top, just a small, like just enough to hold like a lunch pail. I rounded the corners and then I sanded them with like a million grits of sandpaper. And then I oiled them up with food safe oil. This is butcher block oil and finish safe for food contact, cutting boards, butcher blocks, salad bowls, and more. Easy wipe on. Now this tiny container surprisingly was pretty expensive. This was $17, but when I put it on, oh, it brought out the wood grain. It made these charcuterie boards look even better than I imagined. And then what I did to personalize them even more was, you remember this, this wood burning tool? We used it a couple years ago when we made those whiskey barrel uh, Lazy Susans. Well, I took this and my wood burning tool came with like stamps and this is a little heart stamp. I thought about like engraving their initials, but I was like, I already did that. So I just did a little baby little heart brand on the back side of the charcuterie board. Now, in reality, there is no front, there is no back. You could use whatever side you want, but I put the back and a front based on like the coloring of the wood. Now. I know you're sitting there thinking, hold on a minute, lady. You said this was gonna be super fast and super easy, and here you are telling us that you spent like three days cutting, sanding, oiling, sanding, oiling again. That doesn't sound super fast or super easy, and I know it doesn't, but let me tell you the shortcut, the hack, if you will, to making your own charcuterie board. When I was at the Lowe's, cause I didn't see this at the Home Depot at all. They had this and they had a bunch of other, we'll call them project panels. And next to this long three foot teak board, they had rounds. I wanna say maybe they were like 20 inch. They were like about this big round out of teak. Oiled up, already food safe, already ready to go. They are one inch thick by however round, like I said, I think it's just like this round, and they looked gorgeous. Those rounds were 20 bucks each. And I thought, rather than getting this whole board and making your own shape and sanding and oiling like I did, it would be so much easier to just grab a couple of those $20 round teak boards and there you have it there's your charcuterie board what makes it even quicker and easier is ain't nobody shopping at the lowe's for christmas presents this close to christmas unlike having to like scour the earth for cutting boards that look pretty cool just run into the lowe's go down to that shelving aisle where they have these project panels grab yourself a couple rounds get in get out get on your way home it, it I, I was like, if I could buy all of my Christmas gifts at the Lowe's, I would. Because no crowds, no lines, no issues with parking. So the minute you figure out that you don't have a Christmas gift for somebody, hop in your car and head on over to the Lowe's. And then before you make your way home, run over to the Dollar Tree, the grocery outlet, wherever you think you can find some small bowls. Like these, for example, I found these at my local grocery outlet and they're technically ramekins, but they look like a bowl to me. They were already packaged up all nice and neat, four per box. 
This box cost me $4.99 at my grocery outlet. I had every intention of running over to the Dollar Tree and picking out three, my, my idea was three random bowls. But when I was at the grocery outlet and I saw these four bowls for $4.99, I was like, hail to the yes, because these $5 bowls combined with our $20 charcuterie board is only $25. You see where I'm going? And you might be asking yourself, well, why do you need bowls? I didn't just wanna hand somebody a charcuterie board or a, what they might think is a cutting board and be like, here you go, Merry Christmas. I wanted to give like the whole charcuterie experience. And with every charcuterie board that you make, there are little bowls placed around for like dips, honeys, olives, what have you. So I wanted to wrap up the board with some bowls to make the whole charcuterie theme come alive and just take it to the next level. So grab some bowls on your way home, run by the Dollar Tree, get three bowls, whatever it is, spend three, four bucks on bowls, and then you are set. So now that you're home and you have your bowls from the Dollar Tree or the grocery outlet or wherever, and you have your teak round from the Lowe's, if you do have a wood burning tool, you can personalize it. People might think you just made that yourself. If you don't, don't worry about it. It's fine. You don't need to personalize it at all. Now that you have your parts and pieces, we're going to wrap it up. And this is going to be, it, it, it's like beyond easy. And when you see how amazing these look, you're going to die. So now you're home from the Lowe's and from the Dollar Tree, and that trip maybe took you 40, 45 minutes tops. And now you're ready to wrap everything up. So I got some ribbon. I think I got, did I get this at the Michaels? Well, it doesn't matter where I got the ribbon. Get the ribbon from your closet with all your gift wrapping stuff. Grab some ribbon, grab your bowls. Now, if your bowls are loose, like you had to go to the Dollar Tree and they don't have bowls in a box and you just picked bowl, 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 like stack those together, wrap them in tissue paper. You can throw them in a gift bag. You can throw them in a small box if you've got one. Whatever you have, put the bowls in something. And then we're gonna take this gift over the top. Now, you don't have to do this, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying, what I did is because, you know, Everybody might not be as cultured as we are, and they might not know the first thing about how to make a charcuterie board. So I went to the onlines and I found a bunch of different recipes for charcuterie boards. Basically, it just goes through like ingredients, the spreads, some jam, some mustard, some olives. Those would be for your bowls. It gives suggestions of cheeses, meats, crackers, fruits, what have you. I found four different recipes just to give the gift receiver an idea of what they can use to put together their charcuterie board. Then I also found this image here and it says how to charcuterie. I printed them out on my color printer, then I cut them all and then I just glued them to like card stock so it wasn't like loose pieces of like copy paper. You don't have to do this, but I will link all of the websites where I found these recipes in the description box below. So if you do want to print them out, if you have a color printer at home, you are certainly welcome to do that. And these recipes, I just feel like are gonna just take this gift to the next level. And PS, free! So we haven't added anything to the cost of this gift. Once you have your recipes printed out, if you choose to print out your recipes, you're gonna take your charcuterie board, stack your recipes right on top, take your bowls that you've either put in a clear cello bag, a gift bag, a box, what have you, put those on top. Take your little picture of how to charcuterie if you've printed that out and put it on top. Basically, just stack everything together. Then grab your ribbon and then you're just gonna ribbon it all together and it's going to be beautiful. And voila, look at how cute. Now, I just so happen to have these ornaments with the person's first initial. I have two, an M and an L and Seriously, can't nobody tell me that this looks like a last minute gift that we threw together for 25, 
30 bucks. The person you made this for is certainly not going to think that you just ran over to the Lowe's right after you received their gift and ran over to the Dollar Tree, came home, whipped this thing together, tossed some ribbon on it, and then handed it to them. They're never going to know. But you know, what they don't know won't hurt them. And they're gonna love to get this gift. And can you tell why after I had made a bunch of these for people that I decided that I was gonna make one for myself as well. Because seriously, I want a charcuterie. Why should all my friends get charcuterie boards and not me? I'm just saying. And honestly, when you're at the Lowe's, get it. Now, I keep saying when you're at the Lowe's and you're getting your teak round for $20, you don't have to go there. I was at, where was I at? I think the Ross or the Marshalls somewhere. And I was looking through like their home goods stuff and they had beautiful cutting boards with like really ornate handles and they were around the $25 $30 area. What I don't like about shopping at the Ross or the Marshalls when it's this close to Christmas is the crowds and the lines. I can't take it. So if you truly need something last minute and you do wanna do the charcuterie board, I would suggest going to your local big box home improvement store, going down that shelving aisle where they have all of the project board wood, grabbing a couple of those $20 tea grounds because they're, they're beautiful. I mean, if you think these are beautiful, those tea grounds are mwah, and they are ready to go. So I'm just saying, get in your cars right now because 25, 30 bucks, last minute holiday gift that whoever the recipient is, they're gonna be over the fucking moon when they see this. And you are gonna look like a hero, a hero. That's all I'm saying. So yeah, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to ring that notification bell so that you are alerted to all of the DIY Wednesday videos I push out, which is every other Wednesday at 5.30 Pacific Standard Time. Be sure to share, no, mm -mm. I mean, I guess you can. Be sure to share, you should. Share this video with your family and friends because if they're your family and friends, you probably have already purchased a very thoughtful gift for them. So share this video with them. Just don't share this video with your neighbors or your coworkers. That's all I'm saying. And as always, thanks for hanging out.